In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple GNS3 topology, which I would recommend as your first GNS3 network or topology. I'm using a Mac in this example, but you could do something similar on Windows or on Linux. When GNS3 first starts, you prompted to create a new project. So I'm going to call this my first GNS3 network and click OK. On the toolbar, click Browse All Devices and select VPCS. This is a lightweight virtual PC that you can use when creating topologies. What I'm also going to do is bring the GNS3 hub into the topology. If you prompted to select a server, select a local server. I've been prompted because I'm running GNS3 locally, as well as having the GNS3 VM integrated. You won't have that if you haven't configured the GNS3 VM. So just select local if prompted. To cable up your network, select add a link. Click on your first device. Click the Ethernet interface and then select the hub and choose the first interface on the hub. Click your second PC, select Ethernet 0, and then click on the hub and select the second interface. If you're not seeing numbers and interfaces as shown in this topology, they become available through this button, Show Hide Interface Labels. That is just a nice way to see how devices are connected to each other. Click Start Resume All Devices. The interfaces will go green on all the devices. And then click Console Connect to All Devices. That'll open up a connection to each PC. So here's PC1 and here's PC2. The hub is an unmanaged device, so we won't see a console connection to that. On the PC, configure an IP address such as 10.1.1 dot one with a mask. Do something similar on the second PC, so 10.1.1.2. And then back on the first PC, see if you can ping yourself. Yes, we can. Can you ping the other PC? Yes, you can. So PC1 is able to ping PC2 and PC2 is able to ping PC1. So that's a very simple topology to get you started with GNS3. This proves that GNS3 is working properly locally on my PC and allows me to get comfortable with what's called the GNS3 workspace, the different devices that are available and different buttons available at the top here. This topology doesn't require any external operating systems to work. Everything is built into GNS3. When you configure more complex topologies using Cisco routers, you will need to provide the operating systems. But that's not required here. Everything is built into GNS3 for the simple topology. Now, as always, don't forget to save your configuration once you've finished so that you can restore the topology. So type save on both PCs. You don't have to do any configuration on the hub. And now that that's been done, we can turn off the devices, save the project, and create a new project. So don't forget to save your device configurations and save your project before leaving GNS3.